Hello YouTube, how are you all? Lexi, come. Come, good girl, come. How are you all? It's a beautiful afternoon here. Lovely weather. Just stopped raining a while back. And it's been raining quite heavily since the past one week. So, you know, the bikes are grounded. So, today is about this bike. So this is the most. This has been the most talked about motorcycle on my channel since uh, I uploaded its delivery video uh, almost a month ago. So I've been riding the bike as my daily driver in the city. Done a little bit of a highway with it so that I could give you a good review because personally I also have been very interested in the motorcycle. It's a completely new effort by Yamaha. So let's go ahead take her. So I don't know how clear my voice is. But hopefully it will be fixed soon because um, the problem is with my mic. The mic I used to use before, uh, I don't know, I misplaced it somewhere. And I've been using this replacement microphone since the past few days, past few vlogs actually, which isn't really clear, but... Uh, Bulldana Kam Chalao temporary we have to till my new mic arrives. I've ordered it already from AliExpress. Just waiting for it to be here. And again, please don't give me any hate that I'm riding without gloves. Mother video banale kya do. Chalo ma ke call karta. Right. Ada will my friend come neighbor. So my impressions of the motorcycle, uh, let me tell you guys, ever since the bike came out, I've been following it and I've really been in love with it. Even my friend used to ride a Ninja 300 before and then due to some problems, uh, he had to move away, so he sold it. And again, after coming back to Hyderabad, he inquired, he asked that, you know, any 600 would be too much for him, he needs any 300. He was looking for a Benelli 300 and asked me what I think about the bike so that's when I told him about the choppy after sale service of Benelli here in Hyderabad and you know they don't really treat their customers well and more importantly the R3 which came out as a completely new bike from Yamaha the technical specifications uh, are down there below in the description you might want to give them a read so I was really confident that it could be a very great motorcycle so I suggested him to go for it and half heartedly he went for it but the day he got the delivery from then till today he says he's never been happier before now most importantly the instrument cluster when you sit on the bike it makes you feel like you're riding a big motorcycle more of like a mini brother to the r1 and the r6 and the engine it is very very refined compared to the ninja 300 it is very 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 refined as in sounds very smooth sounds different than the ninja 300 little bit more heavier more base to it and it's a 321 cc unit and the most beautiful part about the bike is the way the power is delivered i mean uh, uh, on the ninja 300 when you're pulling you feel you don't really get that big punch of power anywhere it's somewhere towards the red line the bike pulls ahead and you know you just feel it's, it's a fast bike but on this the torque is available from a much lower rev range as in from 3 4000 rpm even when you're riding at sixth gear and say 40 50 60 you give it some throttle it makes you feel that the torque is available immediately almost immediately can't do justice to it but let me tell you it is quite a fast motorcycle it is i'm 100 sure it's faster than the ninja 300 i don't know how the numbers compare for both the bikes but it feels a lot faster the power band is much more uh, accessible than the ninja 300 and uh, quite a lot more than the cbr 250 and you might be asking how does it fare with the rc 390 i think this bike can easily smoke it in the long run but i'm not sure from zero to 100 how fast the uh, 
which one may be faster but in the long run like after 100 kmph or so this thing will rule the roost 100 percent i really love the motorcycle especially now a lot of people have complaints that it didn't give abs now this thing is almost 50,000 rupees cheaper than the ninja 300 uh, but really saying it is a much better overall package than the ninja 300 now i know abs is absent but braking is quite good but the biggest concern and actually the only concern i have had with the bike are the tires the tires are absolutely bullshit like let me repeat the tires are absolutely bullshit i mean i've had two three emergency braking situations wherein uh, i had to brake all of a sudden the brakes are excellent but because of the tires oh shit lot of rush here okay i'll fuck it because of the tires the bike just slips and especially in wet and sandy conditions the bike doesn't give you any confidence at all for emergency braking whatsoever even in dry when you corner the bike's engine chassis everything is a lot more capable but the tires kind of hinder uh, its potential so whoever is planning to buy this bike please invest a little extra keep like 15 20 thousand aside immediately before you take it off the showroom floor get a set of michelins change the tires get the tires changed that is the only thing the bike needs the mrfs which are coming with the bike are absolutely bullshit I mean, you'll be stuck up in some bad situations the sitting posture it's very comfortable it's not too hardcore not too upright you can tour on it a little bit of cornering and all that even the suspension is tuned quite well for our roads and uh, it's actually quite confidence inspiring in the corners as well only thing the tires don't let you push it much the bike looks really nice really sweet and especially the looks you get now i don't know about other states other cities but here in hyderabad r15 is like uh, the de facto motorcycle the standard motorcycle for college going kids and all like you know everyone's so fascinated by that motorcycle although personally i don't really like it much the engine is too twinning for that motorcycle no offense but when you take this thing out on the road first of all it hasn't really sold well here in hyderabad and i think overall too because uh, the rm5 is what 1.5 lakh something 1.3 now this in comparison people were thinking of it as a successor to the r15 yamaha price did it around my friend got it for 3.5 3.6 lakhs rupees lakh rupees uh, on road here in hyderabad which according to me it's a very good pricing uh, considering it is a ckd unit and uh, most importantly the quality everything on the bike is just amazing it's an entirely new bike built from the ground up by yamaha and uh, it's a lot more refined a much better well-rounded package than the ninja 300 even it even looks a little bit bigger than the ninja 300 so when you take it out on the roads here when uh, say rm5s like you know there's lots of r 5s here on the road just like uh, wild pgs in pokemon go you'll find them everywhere so when they see you they all flip and trip and you know some of them even think that you know is it a modified r15 is it a phaser what is it but when they say it's an r3 oh my god it's, it's like oh my god this it's like what father of the r15 or something people were really waiting for this motorcycle but the pricing spoiled it all for them and if it was more of in the range of 2 2.5 if yamaha decided to locally produce the bike here it would be an instantaneous hit trust me yamaha if you're listening please in the long term try to do that uh, maintain quality and try manufacturing the bike here it will give you very good sales because you already have a very good uh, customer base with the r15 apart from that really i don't think the motorcycle has any faults uh, of any kind i really loved the gear ratios the way it's tuned it's got a gear indicator here and uh, the gear ratios are matched very perfectly you don't have to make uh, a lot of gear changes as you do on the ninja 300 and it even pulls better than the ninja 300 of the line even roll on accelerations in higher gears absolutely love it anyone looking for their first uh, uh, motorcycle can consider going for it actually it will give you a big bike thrills and sounds good uh, hopefully my friend will be getting an exhaust soon i'll be sourcing one from him for him so it's gonna sound a lot more deeper too even in the stock it's very refined but also it's quite deep and uh, lovely to listen to 
As on all other imported bikes, even this gets always on headlamps. You don't have a headlight switch. No on, lol. So uh, I couldn't. Uh, I didn't really go far from my home because the rain guards have been playing hide and seek here in Hyderabad since the past one week. We really have rains all around, and the bikes with me since two three days, but. I wasn't really getting a good dry day to take it out, and I planned a top speed attempt and an acceleration video too. There's a lot of you will be curious about this motorcycle. A lot of people have questioned me about this motorcycle. So I said the most talked about motorcycle on my channel. So I'll be doing that hopefully today. If it doesn't rain or tomorrow, probably, and take it to the highway and give it some beans and see how it performs. I did the speed run on the same day but the chest mount angle wasn't the most perfect one so I'll be doing another one uh, sometime later. I could do 170 km per hour before running out of good road and I can confidently say that this bike can do much more than that. Speaking of mileage, I don't really, I haven't really uh, filled up now like when I got the bike it was on full tank, not full tank. But I did roam quite a lot, so I believe it's giving more than 20, and I'm happy with that. I think more than 25 easily. Sorry, it's Emma. Pacho. Recording over. Pura edit karke usko YouTube pe dalte. Public dekna bolke. Ham review karte na gadi. Abi gadi ka aisa hai pura batate logon ko kyunki hamare paas change hota rata gadi. तो अपन नॉलेज सबसे शेयर करें तो अच्छा रहता कोई जो लेना चाह रहा उसको हेल्प होती कैमरा जी कैमरा है द रेंज प्ले क्वाइट अ स्पॉइल स्पॉट स्वीट मैन 500 बॉक्स एंड इट्स ऑलमोस्ट फुल और ये नो दैट कैपेसिटी इट हैज I have got a good capacity. The way the bike delivers the power, it's almost, you know, it feels almost like an RC390. Like on the 300, you don't get that punch, but on this... Wind blast is not really a problem with the bike. As I said, the whole front section is designed in such a nice way that uh, it's quite, see, you see an R15 there, FZ, see Yamaha is quite a good market here. So the whole front end is designed in a very aerodynamic way and I really love the way the bike looks. It looks like a mini Daytona uh, when viewed head on. Only thing is the rear tire hugger, it's quite a bit huge. Uh, if we could put a tail tidy there, the bike will look very uh, mean and purposefully built. See, as you can see, we have 40 kmph and 6 gear, and still it's very top. You can't do this on the Ninja 300. And really, I, I think of this bike as a direct competitor to the Ninja 300. Apart from that, I really, to be honest, I ride a 650 and keep changing on, I keep riding a lot of meter classes, but I honestly don't remember the last time I had so much fun on a sub 600cc motorcycle, like a 300cc, that too, it's a twin, parallel twin, parallel twins are supposed to be boring, but uh, Yamaha has done an excellent job at fine tuning this motorcycle and you know, making it a uh, very overall great package. Yeah, ABS is absent, ABS should have been a good uh, option for newer riders but then again we can't really complain the price is cheaper than the ninja 300 and that doesn't get it as well so only thing tires get them changed when you pick them up and for those looking at this motorcycle please it is an excellent motorcycle most of all it's a unique motorcycle you won't see it anywhere much on the roads and the looks you get from rm5 fanboys are priceless priceless we just stop it and Give you guys a walk around of the bike.
So a lot of you might be thinking the bike is dirty, yes, I had to ride it in the rain yesterday, I went out, it was dry, started raining on my way back and uh, even in the last video a lot of you asked that there are no number plates on most of the bikes I review and all, that's two reasons, one, they are very very new motorcycles, so my friends don't really like putting number plates on them when they new. And point number two also sometimes even if they have number plates, I remove them because blurring them later while editing and all it's a humongous task. My impressions, this is a lot better than the Ninja 300. Benelli to doesn't even come close. See everyone just looks at you. Camera and the bike and everything. So overall, it's a lovely motorcycle. Whoever wants to pick it up, please pick it up. It's a good city bike, it's a good tourer, a little bit of track riding. It's very torquey, the power punch, you can always feel it. It feels you're riding a 300 plus CC motorcycle, unlike the Ninja 300, which doesn't really give you that punch. And even the torque is a little bit more I can feel in this. It's more tuned for the streets and a lot more refined as well and looks great as well. So. Tires are the only problem with the bike, but that can be fixed. Now, I don't know what's with uh, India and women's mentality. I mean, they don't mind picking up a 10 lakh rupee bike, but they won't pick up a 9 lakh rupee bike and spend like 10,000 on it off the showroom floor. And slowly, slowly that's changing, but guys, yeah, a little bit of fine tuning to the bike and it can be yours. So, see you guys signing off. Hope you didn't get bored and sorry for the audio quality. And also, I realize I don't interact much with my subscribers, so I'm planning something for you guys. Um, always know that I'm listening, so love you guys, and I'll be communicating with all of you soon. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, this bike is very flickable in traffic, but then again, only the tires. It's like you'll be fully prepped up, and you know, your confidence will be soaring off the roof, but the tires, they will step in and destroy your experience for you, so... Please, when you buy the motorcycle, change the tires to a set of Michelins or Pirelli's if that's your budget. Also, some of you might be asking, what is this? Uh, see, we live in a country which is, uh, uh, you know, very religious. We have a uh, variety of religions living together secularly and every religion has their beliefs and uh, we tend to stick to them uh, because of our experiences and also what our parents taught us so like uh, muslims like i'm a muslim like that uh, some people prefer to tie a green or red knot on the bike and some just write mashallah on the front uh, front visor which means all well, thanks to god that i'm able to afford or you know ride this motorcycle even in hindus they have this little cloth here uh, where I'm not exactly sure what it is for. Is it for like a blessed cloth or something or so that the bike doesn't get any buri nazar. Buri nazar is like bad omen. But it is there. So no matter how much we develop, we get developed or get modernized, some things about us are not going to change and I think that is what makes us, us we stick to our values. We always do and we pass it on to our children. So. Uh, just a little bit of an emotional message. So, see you guys. I'm heading towards Meripatnam now. I'll probably go have some juice like I showed you last time. Malla So, see you. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.